So today we're going to talk about the snowflake vase. So what is snowflake vase? It's basically our snowflake. As you may know, we have produced a snowflake teapot like uh, last year. I think it's last year. I don't remember time go on so fast. A lot of people love it. The snowflake is already sold out, but we are making a new stock. It should be finished hopefully in December. We are not sure. We will try because uh, the production process is not so easy nowadays but uh, we have another thing to introduce to you guys this is the snowflake vase produced by my friend Andrew G uh, he produced very excellent coin magic this is a cooperative project between Andrew G and Leon and uh, I find it quite interesting so what is the snowflake vase basically it is a blower which can blow snow storm Okay, so you don't need to use your fan anymore, just like our snowflake uh, teapot. Oh yes, one thing I have to check. Uh, wait, I'm back. So one thing pretty cool that the snowflake vase can do is, it is a vase. And also you can place a rose in it, then you can blow confetti from it. And of course you can't place confetti inside, it blows confetti, it's not, doesn't work that way. You have to, you know, have your confetti in your hand and then it blows from your hand. Of course the routine is not as complete as the snowflake teapot, but this works if you got a style, for example, uh, if you take one of the paddle and you turn the paddle into confetti and you blow it from this position, it will work perfectly fine. So I find this snowflake glass quite good and the uh, old look uh, looks quite amazing too I think th this is 3D prints at the same time polish at the outer side and uh, it is printed with high quality material so I think this should last for quite some time and the charging is at the bottom the activation method is quite simple it's just button control when you place the rose inside then you can activate the vase at the same time so I find this operation quite okay it's not perfect but it's okay one thing i find is very attractive for uh, commercial performers is that the price uh, if you are manipulators and you want to get a blower and in a very reasonable price this will be your selection the price is extremely affordable so if you are in a low budget and you want a flying blower this will be your choice and also as you can see i can hold the whole vase with just one hand so it is very small, much smaller than my teapot and smaller than uh, any kind of snow animator. So this is very easy to carry around and uh, if you got usage of it, it will be quite nice. So inside the packaging there's not much, there is only a charger, you charge it and the charger should work for all kind of country. One thing people concern about a uh, blower of snowstorm is always the sound. Now I have to state one thing is that all blower have sound. They mainly suitable for parlor or stage situation and with sound cover. Okay, it's very important is that you have a very strong background music to help with this kind of effect. If you really want to use it, the size of the stage doesn't matter. But what is matter is the sound, the music that you are using and also the equipment that they are using. If the sound can be very loud and very strong, then it can cover the sound of the blower. But if you can't, it's some, you, know, you see, even though there are stage that is huge but the sound equipment is bad, it still can't cover the sound. If you are finding something that you can perform close up, and uh, expect people can't hear sorry it doesn't do that but if you have a situation like stage parlor and you have a good sound equipment with uh, your performance venue then you should be fine you will need something more than just a bluetooth speaker okay and you will need proper stage equipment to help you with this effect obviously you're gonna blow the confetti over the venue so I think if you perform this effect, you will be in a suitable venue. If you're in a proper situation, the sound really doesn't matter. Be a professional, check up your venue before you perform magic effect. 